This is the story of how we recorded six entire songs with Beyonce in one session. Um, now, for those of you who are not engineers or producers, that's a big deal. If I get one full song from a singer done in one day, that's a productive day. To get six songs done is inhuman. It's, it's just, it's not done. Rappers can do it. It's a lot easier and quicker to record a rap song than it is a completely uh, produced out um, uh, pop vocal or R&B vocal. Uh, but for singers who have to do, you know, lead vocals, in tune, comp them, uh, background vocals, harmonies, stacking it all, building out ad libs, getting a nice mix on all those vocals. Sometimes you got 50 or 60 vocal tracks. Uh, that usually takes a lot of time. And so if we get one song done in a day for most artists, I feel pretty good. And we got six done with Beyonce. So it just tells you what type of professional she really is. Just to set it up, we had been working the last two weeks straight. No days off, 16 hour days, 80, 100 hours a week, like just really grinding and, and recording a ton of music. We recorded about 75 songs for that four album. We come in early uh, Friday afternoon, we get started. We record one song uh, and you know, we record all the lead vocals, we comp the lead. So if you don't know what, if you're not an engineer or producer, you don't know what comping means. Comping is when you, uh, you'll record like five of the exact same lead vocal, five takes of it, and then you'll comp it together. You'll take the best line from every uh, take, right? So if on take three, the opening line is best on take three, but then the second line is best on take five, you'll like combine them all to make like a super take. Um, now for most singers, this is actually a pretty quick process because usually there'll be an auto tune on their vocals. So that's already cleaning up any pitch inconsistencies or issues, which Beyonce does not use. Um, and then on top of that, sometimes they'll have like clearly bad vocals where they're just getting into it. And then you'll notice the ones that really shine through and are great. They'll stand out with Beyonce. It's not like that. All of her vocals are so great. You end up spending more time comping, even though the quality of the vocal is better because now you're spending time listening over and over and over again to make sure, well, what was better? Was take three better or take five better for that opening line? I don't know. They're both pretty close. They're both really good. Um, you know, and I take my job seriously. I want to find the best one. So I'm going to listen to it 10 times until I find the best one. So the point is that it takes longer to comp a Beyonce vocal than it does to comp uh, you know, most other singers that I've worked with. So there's always things that break up the day, right? Her assistant will come in and say, Hey, I have your publicist on the phone. She got to talk to you about something, or I have your lawyer. You got to talk to you about something. Um, you know, you have a meeting coming in at this time, you know, just want to let you know. So you're ready for it. Little things like that. Uh, and, and between that and meals, which you got to eat, uh, there's a number of breaks throughout the day. Uh, but for the most part, she grinds through and, and we're not taking many breaks. Um, so we get the, we get the second song done. Then we start working on a third song and we get it done. And at this point, by the time we finished the third song, uh, I, it, I remember it was, it was early Saturday morning. The sun was starting to rise. It, it was probably six in the morning, seven in the morning, maybe Saturday morning. We're exhausted. I've been in the studio at that point for about 18 hours, long day, starting to feel tired. And that would be the point where normally she would get up and say, all right, I think I'm done for the day. Uh, see you tomorrow. She never said that. She just kind of hung out and we just kind of hung out in the studio for a bit. And I noticed she, we finished the third song and she was not in any hurry to leave. And so I thought, okay, well, looks like we might keep going here for a little bit longer. Uh, so I thought, all right, well, I need a little bit of energy. Um, you know, even B was getting tired, you know, we're all human. Uh, so I thought, all right, let's, I sent the assistant to go run and grab, uh, three, five hour energies. I think I had one, B had one. And I think her assistant and or, um, her cousin, Angie had one, maybe half an hour, an hour later, we start recording a fourth song. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I guess we're really going to keep going here. Um, we get a fourth song done. Now I'm guessing it's about noon. 
maybe one o'clock. So we have been at the studio for close to 24 hours now. And I thought, okay, now for sure she's going to go home. She doesn't go home. So we start recording a fifth song. Now at this point, I'm like, oh, we're in this for the long haul. We're probably not going to go home at 4 p.m. Like we're, she's probably going to stay. You know, you're, I mean, when you, when you book a studio, you book like in blocks, right? And she might book 24 hour blocks. So once you pass that 24 hours, like you might as well stay, you're into the next day already. Right. Um, and so now I realize, all right, we're, we're going to be here all night. We're going to be here for probably close to 40 hours. Like she's not going to leave until maybe she'll leave early. Maybe she'll leave at 10 PM tonight. Uh, but I knew that I was getting tired. So I sent the assistant, uh, to go and get a case of five hour energies because they seem to like give us a, a, that lift that we needed, you know, a few hours earlier, five hours earlier. So I was like, let's get a box of them and then we'll have a few to, you know, if we're going to keep going, we'll be able to have that energy. Um, and you know, to be honest, I was so exhausted at this point, you know, as I'm doing takes on that, that, uh, that fourth song, even after the five hour energy, uh, towards the end of it, you know, I'm like kind of dozing off and getting like a 15 second power nap in and she takes a few more meetings and I'm, you know, tired again. And, you know, so I take another one and I think she takes another one. Uh, and then we record a sixth song and, uh, and at that point I've probably had four or five, five hour energies by the time we finish that sixth song. Uh, we finish, it's probably early Sunday morning, finally wrap up. We've had a number of five hour energies. We're like wired, but also tired. And we've been in the studio for almost 40 hours straight with no sleep, no rest. Uh, she's about ready to go on vacation. I, which means I finally get a little two week break myself. So we're all looking forward to our little break. Oh, I'm not feeling very good. And my friend who I went out there with Jeremy, he comes up to me. He's like, Hey, Swiv, you don't look too good. Um, are you feeling okay? And I said, no, I feel awful. I don't know what's going on. I feel terrible. Um, I need to get home. He's like, oh, great. I'm tired anyways. I'm ready to go. Why don't we leave? So we all left. The moment I walk in the door, I become freezing cold and it's not that my apartment was cold. Um, I just get very, very cold and I get straight into bed. I'm like, I got to sleep this one off. And I couldn't sleep right away. I'm shivering at this point. I'm under the covers. I'm shivering. I've never shaken so much in my life. Cold sweats. I know I'm hot. I'm, my whole body is sweating, but I'm freezing cold, shivering. It was like I was in Alaska, you know, in a tank top <laughs> in the middle of winter. It was freezing. My little 24 hour bug or whatever it was, 12 hour bug even, uh, is now gone. I feel good. Okay, cool. About five days later, I get a call from Beyonce's assistant saying, Hey, are you available? Are you ready to get back in the studio tomorrow? And I said, what do you mean? B's in Italy, isn't she? Uh, you know, she's not due to be back for another 10 days or so. And she's like, yeah, no, she, she's coming back early. She's ready to get back in the studio. And I thought, wow, wow. We've been working so hard. Uh, you've only been gone for five days and you're ready to get back. That is insane to me. That's dedication. So, uh, so I'm like, sure, I'll be there. So my vacation gets cut short. Uh, I show up to the studio the next day. B, uh, comes in, uh, you know, hi B, how are you? How was your vacation? Uh, and she said it was great. Had an awesome time. You know, I just really wanted to get back and, and keep working on this album. But she said something interesting. She goes, the whole vacation was great, except that night I flew out. I felt like I was going to die. Like I felt horrible. Um, I had just cold sweats and everything. I was like, my eyes lit up. I was like, you too. I had the same thing. And then it clicked the five hour energies. We both drank way more than you're supposed to drink. Of course we didn't read the label. I didn't really think to read the label or anything. We just thought five hour energy. We need a little energy. So we're all taking them. And of course we both got violently ill. Um, and <laughs> I thought that was uh, kind of funny and, and, uh, obviously it didn't last very long. So, um, it, it all worked out.